everyone! Welcome to the Story Box, where you can find stories from all around the world. I'm Z, and today I've got a lovely spring story for you about a curious little deer who goes on a long adventure to find the answer to a very important question she has. Let's listen closely and see what she finds. The greatest of them all. Spring was coming to the forest, and winter was almost over. All the creatures of the forest were waking up from their big sleep. And somewhere, deep in the forest, in a thicket covered with snow-laden branches, Baby Deer was waking up too. One morning, when the last of the snow had fallen from the sky, she peeped through the branches to see the strange cold new world that sparkled with white. And slowly, she stood on her long legs and looked around, twitching her nose from left to right. And suddenly, she gave a great leap and landed in the cold powdery snow. She looked at the snow that covered everything in sight. Wow, snow must be the greatest thing of all, she thought. And so little baby deer called out, Snow, oh snow, you're so white and so pretty, and you fall gently and cover everything in sight. Tell me, snow, are you the greatest of them all? But the snow sighed, Oh no, little deer. How could I be when the warm winds how could I be when the warm winds could blow me and melt me into nothing? And so baby deer traveled to the warm plains where the sun comes to rest at the end of each day and where all the warm winds of the world gather to meet. And there she called to the wind, Oh wind, no one sees you, and no one knows where you come from, or where you will go, and you want everything you touch. Tell me, wind, are you the greatest of them all? But the wind only howled. Oh, little deer, how could I be the greatest of them all, when the mountains can hold me and block my way so that I cannot pass? And so the little deer climbed up to the highest mountains, and she called out, Mountain! Mountain! You pierce the sky, and you touch the clouds, and you are bigger than everything around you. Tell me, are you the greatest of them all? But the mountain only rumbled. Oh no, little deer, tell me. If I was the greatest, then how could the earth tremble and shake me and pull me down? And so the little deer climbed down the mountain and traveled to the depths of the earth, where rocks could melt and fire forever burns. And she cried out, Earth, earth, you shake and tremble and move the greatest mountains above. Tell me. Are you the greatest of them all? But the earth whispered, How could I be the greatest, when the plants and shrubs pierce me with their roots? And so the deer went back to her forests, back to her home in the thickets, and there among the snow-covered branches was a little daffodil. And baby deer asked it, Daffodil, pretty daffodil, you pierce the earth and flower all the meadows. Tell me, are you the greatest of them all? But the daffodil shook its petals. If I were the greatest of them all, how could you pick me up and eat me? At this, the deer jumped for joy and skipped about as she sang. Yes, yes! The snow may cover all that we see and the wind may melt the snow. The mountains may stop the wind 
and the earth might move the mountains. And oh, the plants may pierce the earth, but I, I, little deer, nibble on the first flower of spring and eat it. Yes, I am the greatest of them all. And that's the end of the greatest of them all. What an adventure Baby Deer had. And she finally figured out the answer to her question. Do you think she's right? I hope you enjoyed the story. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so we can bring you more stories from all around the world. Until next time, bye!